Hi everyone, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to make this cool waterfall pop-up element for your mini album or card. All you're going to need is some paper, scissors, glue or tape, some photos, and a scoreboard. First thing we're going to do is cut a strip of paper down to two and a half inches in width, and for now I'm not cutting down the length at all. Then take whichever photo you want to use and you're going to align the width of the photo up to the strip of paper and just make sure the first score line is based on how big your photo is. So for example, my photo is 4 inches by 3 inches and I'm making my first score line at that 3 inches since that is the width of my photo. Now after you make that first score line, you're going to make more score lines measuring 3 eighths of an inch after that first one. Also note that the score lines don't have to be exactly 3 eighths of an inch apart. You could make them half of, it, half of an inch apart or even a third of an inch. There's a lot of flexibility in what you can do here, but if you want to copy me exactly, I'm doing four more score lines each at 3 eighths of an inch apart, and by having a total of five score lines, that leaves room for five pictures. So just remember, if you have more pictures, add extra score lines. This next part is super easy. Once you make all the score lines, you're going to fold each of the score lines over in the same direction. And once you fold over each score line, it should look a little bit like an arch. Next up, you're just going to take either some glue or tape and tape down each photo. So the first score line we made at the three inches, the entire area I'm going to put tape down and place a picture. And remember while you're doing this not to cover the actual score line because we want it to be bendable. So just put glue and tape under the score line. That is our first photo, and for the others, we're going to repeat the same steps by placing tape only under the area under each of the score lines. So besides the first photo we glued down, each of the others will only be attached by their top edge, and the rest of the photos will be almost floating, if that makes sense. Also, instead of attaching my photos directly, I cut out white squares because I like the look of having a border around my photos, so you could also do the same as well. And we are halfway done. You can start to see how this moves now, and I'm just going to decorate it a bit with some patterned paper. Now is also when you're going to attach some of your photos, and what I love about the waterfall is it allows you to store so many pictures and memories in such a neat way that doesn't take up multiple pages in an album. And each waterfall flap is also two-sided, so you can place photos or journaling on both the front and the back. If you are following along in my mini series, this is the first page going into my scrapbook. I just cut down a 7 and 3 fourths of an inch by 7 and 3 fourths of an inch piece of paper for the background. And in order to attach this, I cut a strip of paper down to 2.5 by 6 inches. And with this, you are just going to wrap it around the width of the paper and make sure there's enough room for it to slide through. And once you have it fitted appropriately, go ahead and tape it around. Once that is attached, we are going to take the same strip of paper we just glued and glue the top of it to the underside of the bottom photo. Basically, just put glue all over the top part and then place the waterfall portion on top so that the bottom photo of the waterfall will attach to the glue. Here 
Here is a better angle of how it will attach. And you can see here when you slide the lever piece how the bottom photo is the only photo not sticking up. Last step is to actually attach this to the background. So again, on just the strip of paper that we just folded around, we are taping the bottom side now and that is the piece that will attach it all together. You don't want to glue any other part down since all the other parts need to move. And here is how it looks. I think it turned out really special, but now all that is left is to place this page into our mini scrapbook album. If you want to make your own mini album, make sure to go back and check out the first video in this series where I go step by step on how to make this book binding. And just to attach this first page, I'm going to put tape and glue down on one side of the page holders. And I like to use a decent amount of both just to ensure the page sticks down and is secured to the mini album forever. Then I'm just laying the back side of the page we just made up along the edge and placing it to the mini album and pressing it down to hold. It really is that easy. I hope you enjoyed this video and will make this fun waterfall piece in the future. Please like this video and let me know what other things you would like to see me create.